The movie Spectre is a 2015 spy film and the 24th in the James Bond series produced by Eon Productions. The film is fourth to starring Daniel Craig as the fictional MI6 spy James Bond. The movie begins in Mexico, during a Day of the Dead parade. A man in a white suit and a skull mask goes past, and another man in a skull costume notices him and begins walking into a hotel with a woman. The pair enters their room for some private time. The man is 007, James Bond. Bond leaves his lover in the room and walks out onto the roof with his rifle at the building next to it, aiming at the man in white, Marco Ciara. Bond overhears Ciara and two other men discussing blowing up a stadium and inquiring about the Pale King. Before Bond begins to move, the guys spot him and shoot back, but Bond kills the two men before detonating the bomb, which destroys part of the building and forces it to collapse down onto Bond's roof. He falls through the rubble but walks into town to pursue Ciara. Bond follows his target through the parade as Ciara calls for someone to meet him in the square. Ciara climbs into a descending chopper as Bond follows up and beats Ciara's men before jumping in with him. As the chopper lifts off, Ciara both fights with Bond and the pilot. As Bond attempts to kill his Ciara, the chopper comes perilously close to bystanders. He eventually kicks Ciara out of the chopper before throwing the pilot out as well. Bond takes control of the helicopter and takes off. He then looks in his hand at something he took from Ciara's finger, an octopus symbol ring. M is displeased with Bond's actions, especially as he hasn't authority to be in Mexico. Bond informs M that he was enjoying a vacation and it was purely coincidence the encounter with Ciara. Bond has been formally grounded by M, as Bond leaves, the new director of the Joint Intelligence Service, Max Denby, introduces himself as C. Bond meets Moneypenny and shows her the true reason he went after Ciara, he received a tape from the previous M shortly after her death, telling Bond to find Ciara, kill him, and attend his funeral in Rome, Moneypenny also gives Bond with a box recovered items from Skyfall. Bond looks the box and discovers, among other things, a picture of a man and a boy with a third person's face burned out. Bond and Bill Tanner rides around the river, where they see the new G's building. Tanner claims that C's plan is to build Nine Eyes, a program that will provide access to intelligence streams in nine countries. The men meet Q, who gives Bond a watch, but warns him that the alarm is quite loud. Apparently, Bond took the custom Aston Martin built for 009. Bond travels to Rome to attend Ciara's funeral. He meets Lucia, Ciara's widow. At night, Lucia's home. She's nearly executed by two men until Bond shows and gets them first. Despite knowing that Bond murdered her husband, he seduces her and discovers Ciara was a member of a criminal group. Bond enters the organization's hideout using the octopus ring as a key. There, he comes across a large group of people who are discussing happenings in Marrakesh and Tunisia, as well as the planned explosion in Mexico. A figure dressed in shadows appears and takes charge of the conference. They also mention the Pale King and their plans to eliminate him. Mr. Hinks, a much larger fellow, steps in for consideration when he calls on a man to provide the muscle in their plans. Hinks knocks the man's head on the table and squeezes his head till he dies then wipes his fingers with a handkerchief. The man in the shadows then notices Bond and addresses him by name, referring by the nickname, Cuckoo, Bond also seemed to recognize the man. One of the building's minions nearly attacks Bond before throwing him over the balcony. Bond flees as Hinks pursues him. Mr. Hinks gives chase, they drive through the streets of Rome. Bond then telephones Moneypenny and inquires about the Pale King and Franz Oberhauser, the man in the shadows. Moneypenny tells Bond that the Pale King is actually Mr. White, and she learns that Oberhauser and his father were presumed dead in an avalanche. Bond notices that the car has hardly operational gadgets except for a flamethrower, which he fires on Hinks's car before ejecting himself and fleeing. In Tokyo, C is presenting the Nine Eyes program to other countries. 
A vote is called, and all but the South African representatives refuse, resulting in the program's denial because it must be decided by unanimous vote. When Tanner gets the news of the car chase in Rome, he and M become worried that Bond may have left without permission. M phones Q to check on Bond's whereabouts, Q is forced to lie that Bond is in Chelsea, London. Meanwhile, Bond locates Mr. White in Austria, where he lives alone in a run-down house, dying of thallium poisoning as a result for deserting the organization. Bond convinces Mr. White to tell him the location of his daughter, promising his former enemy that he will protect her. He pushes a gun towards Mr. White, knowing that he would prefer to end his misery. Mr. White instructs Bond to find her out at a clinic where she works, and she will lead him to Le Maricain, which will lead him back to Oberhauser. The gun is then placed beneath White's chin and the trigger is pulled. Meanwhile in London, M has learned that Bond has fled the country against his orders. He also has to cope with C initiating Nine Eyes, even though the decision to start it must be consensual, and C has at least one detractor. The OO program has likewise been formally terminated. Bond arrives at the clinic and meet Dr. Madeline Swan, White's daughter, is a psychiatric doctor. She asks him some questions to evaluate Bond. Bond tells her that he witnessed her father kill himself. Madeline urges him to go, fearful that he's there to kill her, but Bond denies it because he made promise to her father. At the clinic bar Q approaches Bond, he insists that Bond return to England and that Franz Oberhauser is dead. He asks Q to analyze the ring, Q heads off to the Pevsner Hotel while security sees Bond off the premises. He resists when he spots Hinks and his men's abduct Dr. Swan. They flee in a convoy of jeeps, and Bond pursues them in an aircraft. Meanwhile, additional men surround Q on a cable car, and he escapes through a crowd. Bond crashes the convoy and saves Swan, and convinces her to follow him to Q, at the hotel. Bond informs Q that Swan is aware of the organization, and Q reveals his findings. Franz Oberhauser is alive and is the leader of the criminal organization, and all of the villains from Bond's previous missions were members. Swan is aware of the organization's name, Spectre, because her father was a member. Q turns on the television to see a terrorist incident in Cape Town. Bond asks Q to return to London while he searches for Le Maricain. Swan says it's a location, a hotel in Tangier. Bond and Madeline travel to Tangier and locate Le Maricain. Bond searches the place looking for evidence, finding nothing but a bottle of alcohol. Swan claims she separated herself from her father and his illegal trade. Bond wakes up in the middle of the night to witness a mouse scurry into a hole in the wall. Beneath it is a secret room containing a variety of contraband, including a tracking console to locate Oberhauser's phone. On the wall, a list of coordinates points to an empty desert in North Africa. M rushes to Whitehall in London and learns that the South Africans have accepted nine eyes following the terror attack. The program will launch in less than 72 hours. Back in London, Moneypenny and Q show to M the satellite photos of a lair in the African desert that shows Bond is going. M says they cannot help him because C will spot it. Q is ordered to delete the smart blood data as a safety precaution. On the train, Bond and Swan drink a toast, which is interrupted by a surprise attack from Hinks. Hinks and Bond battle to the freight car. Hinks nearly tosses Bond out the door, and he's stopped when Swan shoots him in the arm with Bond's gun. Bond puts a rope around Hinks's neck with a hook at the other end, tying it to a canister, which Bond kicks off the train, bringing Hinks out with it. In the middle of the desert, Bond and Swan arrived at an abandoned station. Where a chauffeur waiting for them to pick up them, and they will be driven to Oberhaus's base in a crater. They are taken to separate rooms. In Bond's room, a framed image of him with his foster father Hannes and brother Franz. In Swan room, a framed portrait photo of her as a child with her father. They are called to meet Oberhauser, who takes them to a large surveillance room and shows. Bond live footage of M announcing his departure to MI6, then reveals that all of Bond's tragedies throughout his career were orchestrated by him, and finally he plays footage from White's cabin of Bond negotiating with Mr. White, and White committing suicide. It is also revealed that C's work for Oberhauser, and Nine Eyes will provide Spectre with access to all intelligence streams. Bond is then knocked out by a thug. 
Bond awakens strapped to a chair, ready for torture. Oberhauser tells Swan how his father looked Bond after his parents died, and that he was like a brother to Bond until he faked his death in the avalanche. Now, he is no longer Oberhauser, but rather, Ernst Stavro Blofeld, completely called. Blofeld activates small drills to enter Bond's mind. Bond slips his watch loose. Swan approaches him and confesses her feelings for him. Bond slips his watch to her, instructs her to arm the bomb. She slides the watch toward Blofeld and explodes, releases Bond from the torture chair. Runs away while other men shoot guns at them and triggering a gas explosion that destroys the entire facility. In London, Bond calls on Q, M, Tanner and Moneypenny to a secret location in the city. Bond inform them of C's Spectre connection and the danger of Nine Eyes. They drive to C's intelligence center, M and Bond are in the front car, unknown men crash their vehicle into them. Bond is taken hostage, while M hops into the rear car. Bond is taken to the former MI6 headquarters and quickly eliminates his captors. Meanwhile, C gets into the intelligence center and learns that M has eluded capture. He tries to open his laptop but is locked out. Q attempts to shut down the Nine Eyes system. C finds M in his office. C draws a gun and attempts to shoot M, but M removes the bullets. Bond navigates the MI6 building and finds Blofeld alive in an interrogation room. Who is now blind in his right eye, caused by explosions. He has captured Swan and held somewhere in the building, which is about to blow up in 3 minute countdown. Q has deactivated Nine Eyes system. When Blofeld's helicopter provides a distraction for C to wrestle for the gun, M fires at the glass ceiling, and C slips on and forcing him to fall to his death over the balcony. Bond finds Swan and escape the building, they jump through a whole safety net below. They take a jet boat to escape, as the building collapses. Blofeld attempts to flee aboard a helicopter, but Bond shoots him down, causing it to crash on Westminster Bridge. Blofeld has wounded his leg, so Bond aims his pistol at him. Blofeld urges him to shoot, but Bond refuses and lets him be arrested. Blofeld is apprehended by M as Bond leaves with Swan. The following morning Bond visits Q to take Aston Martin DB5 and drive off with Swan. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and notification bell to watch more videos like this. Subscribe to AMLAC 75 Entertainment.